Yeah. Sorry, what's your uh, top of the table? Any changes you'll like to make for this match? I'd like to keep everything the same, actually. Uh, I thought it was a very good performance last week, especially defensively. Uh, we kept a clean sheet, which was very important for us, good for the confidence, and uh, yeah, we scored two very good goals. So um, looking forward to the challenge this week against Brisbane. Obviously, last time we played them was in the Cup, um, and they did very well in that first game. And so we're looking forward to another good challenge at home at Colgrove. Looking forward to a big crowd as well and putting on a good performance for them. What have you made of them recently? They've improved towards yeah. this part of the season. Yeah, they had a good win uh, last week. So obviously changed the system from the back five to, to a four last week. So not sure what to expect from them, whether they stay with the four. So it's something we need to obviously prepare for, both systems, and which we, ha which we have. And um, yeah, but it's more about us and what we want to do and how we want to play and we're at home and we want to put on a good performance for our crowd and, and, and get three points, which is the most important thing. There's some suggestion that the game could be postponed due to the smoke in the air with the bushfires. Mm. Have you heard anything from the FFA? Have you? I haven't myself. Uh, we've just concentrated on the game. Of course, uh, we've just done training as normal this week and we're preparing as normal. Um, and we'll just wait to see what, what they come up with, but I think the game should be going on. I think um, you know the boys have trained in it all week and there should, should be no problems. Has there been, been any, any issues at training at all? With no the issues, no. no. With, the, with the smoke, there's been no issues. Uh, it's business as usual, focus on, on what's at hand, which is the Brisbane game, and, and trying to pick up three points. Has it been difficult to prepare for this match with you know, this much smoke in the air? No, not really. Uh, you know, we started uh, training early a couple of days, but that was because of the heat. Um, um, but otherwise, obviously, you know, there's smoke around, you can see it and you can, you can smell it. But, uh, you know, the boys are well prepared and um, they do everything correctly at training. And, you know, we've been having short sessions anyway because uh, of the heat. So we wanted to get them in and out, get them out of the heat m mostly and uh, prepare for the game, freshen them up for the game. Because we've had a couple of big weeks in travel with Perth and then uh, Western United last week. So it's been a little bit of a freshen up week this week. I guess the concern has been the smoke's kind of descended in the late afternoon mm. towards the evening, which would be the, the time, time of the game. Time of kickoff, yeah. Yeah, so obviously it's a concern for, for everyone, but um, like I said, you know, it's, our focus is only on playing the game. We don't want to look into that too much. The moment you start looking at that, the game could be called off. The boys put their focus on elsewhere, and uh, that's not what we want. We want to make sure we're focused and, and raring to go. Milos Nikovic will be back. He will be, yes. Um, yeah, he's trained all week. Obviously, he had the sickness last week uh, in Melbourne, uh, which obviously gave Anthony Caceres a, a great opportunity to play, and he, he did a fantastic job. Um, he's been coming off the bench, but his, his attitude and the way he's playing at the moment is uh, excellent. And um, yeah, he had a very good game. But Ninko is back this week, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Will he start? Um, maybe. Yeah, I haven't decided that yet, but of course he's a uh, quality player and he's, he's one obviously we, we missed last week as well, he's, he brings a lot to the team, but um, all the boys are doing extremely well at the moment and playing playing well. Milos Ninkovic has uh, been targeted by MacArthur at FC who who uh, are interested in him, hmm. do you think it will be difficult to keep him if you started talks with him? I'm not surprised, he's a quality player. so. Um, I think when you have success, this is going to happen. Your top players, um, you know, the other clubs want them. We want to keep Ninko. We've been negotiating with Ninko for a while now and um, we'll do our best to keep him. He's a great guy. I have a great relationship with him. Um, you know, the supporters love him and, you know, he's been at the club for quite a while now. So it'd be a shame to, to lose him and we'll do our best like we will with all the other players because I think we've put a, a great squad together and uh, we're trying to keep as many of them as possible, and which we've done already. We've kept 15 from, from the squad so far, so a little bit more work to do, but um, yeah, we're doing our best to keep as many as possible.